velocity, its speed. But um, what we find always in a dilemma, so to speak, is science on one hand and religion on, on the other. Is there a conflict between science and religion or can we converge science and religion? And we also know that science is always trying to seek the truth via experiments in a lab, whereas spirituality is also trying to look at the truth, but trying to find answers to our existence. And uh, we, we, we always seem to be in this conflict between science, religion, and we try to find whether there is a common ground. And I know Martha G even told me earlier, she's going to base her lecture on the science of self-realization. So we're really looking forward to that lecture. And I, I want to also say that nowadays when we talk about science, we also say, does science lead to spirituality or does spirituality lead to science? So which journey should we pursue? I'm hoping that you know we can get more answers to this. And uh, I know this is going to be a very good topic because even amongst our younger uh, generation, our, our, our children out there, when we also ask about science, they tell you, uh, mom, science is the new iPhone. You know, that's what science. Science is AI, artificial um, intelligence. So today, I, I think uh, we, we're very honored. We, we glad to have uh, her grace to honor us with our presence. I know she's been a temple resident for 20 years and uh, she's a lecturer, she's well-versed and uh, she'll be able to, to shed a lot of light on whether this is a conflict, convergence. And I love the topic. I was totally fascinated and I love chatting to her earlier. And uh, I'm sure you're going to be really blessed. Um, Your Grace, I invite you to now take over. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll start off with the Kiritan, Jai Radha Madhava, as usual. So let's go. Jai Radha Madhava. Jai Kunja Bihari Jai Radha Madhava Jai Kunja Bihari Jai Gopi Janavalava Jai Girivaratari Jaya Giri Vedakari Yashoda Nandana Prajajana Ranjana Yashoda Nandana Prajajana Ranjana Shamuna Tiravana Shari Jaya Radha Madhava Jaya Kunja Bihari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 
Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Jaya Rasa Radha Nata Radha Radha Nata Radha Jaya Giri Govardhan Giri Govardhan Giri Govardhan Jaya Giri Govardhan Jaya Prabhupada 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 Jaya Prabhupada Nithai Gora Hari Bo Hari Bo Hari Bo Nithai Gora Hari Bo Shila Prabhupada Ki Chai Go Premanandi Hari Hari Bo Hare Krishna dear devotees so welcome to uh, our talk uh, today, this afternoon. So we'll be talking on uh, science of self-realization, the tiny world, the modern scientists. And uh, we'll start off by reciting some prayers. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Jnana Timirandhasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshur Militam Yena Tasme Shri Gurve Namaha Shri Chaitanya Manobhistam Sapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamaya Tadati Swapadantikam Hey Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namasate Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Prandavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sate Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vanchakalpata Rupesha Tipasandu Bevacha Patitanam Pavini Pyo Vaishnavi Pyo Namuna Maha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Sadi Gora Bhakta Brinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So dear devotees, let's start. Uh, the tiny world of the modern scientists, of modern science. During a morning walk in April of 1973 at Venice Beach, Los Angeles, Srila Prabhupada uh, discusses modern science and its high and its high priests. They claim to have millions of dollars worth of knowledge, but if you ask them a question, they simply give a post data check. So uh, why should we accept it? They cannot even produce a spear of grass through their biological and chemical experience. Nonetheless, they are claiming that the creation is produced by some, some chemical and biological method. Why does no one question all of this? So um, we'll start with uh, Srila Prabhupada's dialogue 
and uh, I'll be reading Srila Prabhupada's part uh, and some other devotees will be reading the rest. Srila Prabhupada, the whole world of science and technology is running on the false idea that life is born from matter. We cannot allow this nonsensical theory to go unchallenged. Life does not come from matter. Matter is generated from life. This is not theory. It is a fact. Science is based on an incorrect theory. Therefore, all its calculations and conclusions are wrong. The people are suffering because of this. When all this mistaken modern scientific theories are corrected, people will become happy. So we must challenge the scientists and defeat them. Otherwise, they will mislead into the entire society. Matter changes in six phases, birth, growth, maintenance, products, production or byproducts, dwindling and death. But life within matter, the spirit soul is eternal. It goes through no such changes. Life appears to be developing and decaying, but actually it is uh, simply passing through each of these six phases within the material body. Uh, each of the six phases until the material body can no longer maintain, be maintained. Then the body dies and the soul enters a new body. When our clothing is worn out, we change it. Similarly, one day our bodies become old and useless and we pass onto a new body. As Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita 2.13, as embodied soul continuously passes in this body from boyhood to youth to old age, the soul similarly passes into another body at death and a little later into 18, antavantat imahadeha nichayukta sarirana. The, this means that only the material body of the indestructible and eternal living entity is subject to destruction. The material body is perishable, but the life within the body is nitya, eternal. According to the Vedas, the me measurement of the soul within the body is one ten thousand part of a tip of a hair. This is very small. In fact, it is atomic. Yet because of the atomic spiritual energy, my body is working. It is so difficult. Is it so difficult to understand? Suppose a man thinks himself very stout and strong. Why is he stout and strong? Only because within his body is a small spiritual spark. But as soon as the spiritual spark uh, is gone, his body dies and his body, sorry, and his uh, vigor strength and vigor becomes, becomes void. If scientists say that matter is a cause of life, then let them bring one dead man back by injecting him with chemicals, but this they cannot do. Um, Dr. Singh asked, uh, said, sorry, since scientists cannot see the spirit soul, they say its existence is very doubtful. How can they see it? It is too small to see. Where is the same power? Uh, still, they want to sense it by some means. If you inject one grain of deadly poison into someone, he dies. No one can see the poison or how it acts, but the poison is acting nevertheless. In the same way, the Vedas say that because the, part, the minute particle called the soul is within the body, the whole body is working nicely. If I pinch myself, I immediately feel it because I'm conscious all over my skin. But as soon as the soul is absent, which in the case when my body dies, you can take the, skin, the same skin and cut it and chop it and no one will protest. Why is this simple thing so hard to understand? Is this not detecting spirit? Uh, Dr. Singh, that is the soul, but what about God? Srila Prabhupada, first of all, let us understand soul. The soul is a small God. If you understand the sample, then you understand the whole. Now here is matter, point, Srila Prabhupada pointing to a dead tree with a cane. 
formerly leaves and twigs were growing from this tree. Where are they not, why are they not growing now? Can the scientists answer this question? Adandada does. They would say the chemical composition has changed. All right. Then if they are so advanced in knowledge of chemistry, they must supply the proper chemicals to make branches and leaves grow again. Ramananda Swami, knowledge means that one must be able to demonstrate his theory. They should be able to show in their laboratory, laboratories that life is caused by a combination of chemicals. Yes, the scientific method means first observation, then hypothesis, then demonstration, but these scientists cannot demonstrate the, their hypothesis. They simply observe and then speak nonsense. The scientists say that chemicals are the cause of life, but as all, chemi but all the chemicals that were there when the tree was living are still present and life energy is also there. There are thousands of microbes in the tree and they're all living entities. No one is claiming that life energy is lacking in the body of the tree. Dr. Singh, but what about the life energy of the tree itself? Yes, that is the difference. The living force is the individual and the particle individual living entity, which was the tree has left. This must be the case. Since all the chemicals that are necessary to support life are there, are still there in the tree. And, and yet the tree is dead. So I just want to comment on this. Um, we find that uh, here, the scientists say that there's no soul because they cannot see the soul. So there was a video going around uh, and most of you must have uh, seen it on social media where the little girl asks the professor if he has uh, intelligence and the professor says yes. So can you see your intelligence? And he says no. And, and she comes to a conclusion that the professor has no intelligence because he cannot see it because he claimed that if you cannot see God, then there's no God. So uh, I found this very hilarious, but also there's so much of truth in that. It does not mean that if we haven't seen God, then he does not exist. Similarly, most of us haven't seen our forefathers. Uh, does that mean that they did not exist? It's just a common sense theory. But these philosophers and scientists use word jugglery to deny the existence of God, the soul and the super soul within the body. Uh, we see how here Srila Prabhupada is smashing the idea by using the idea of uh, the poison. You know, if you inject one grain of poison in the body of someone, immediately there is death. But we cannot see how the poison is working. Similarly, because of the presence of the soul, the whole body is animated and working very nicely. And also, uh, later on, he comes to the uh, he talks about the uh, chemical, right? In the book, Life Comes from Life, Srila Prabhupada says that all the chemical is present in the body when the body dies. So if the scientists proclaim that the chemicals, that chemicals produce life, then he says, tell them to bring one dead body back to life. This they cannot do. So we'll continue reading. Here is another example. Suppose I am living in an apartment and then leave it, I am gone. But many other living entities remain there and spiders and so forth. It is not true that simply because I have left the apartment, it can no longer accommodate life. Other living entities are still there. It is simply that I, an individual living being, have left. The chemicals in the tree are like the apartment. They are simply, they are, they are simply the environment for the individual living force, the soul, to act through. The scientists, thus the scientists will never be able to produce life in chemical labor laboratories. The so-called scientists say that if life begins from chemicals, the so-called scientists say that life begins from chemicals, but the real question is, why have, where have the chemicals come from? 
The chemicals come from life. This means that life has no mystic power. Sorry, this means that life has mystic power. For example, an orange tree contains oranges and each orange contains chemicals, citric acid and others. So where have these chemicals come from? Obviously they have come from life within the tree. The scientists are missing the origin of the chemicals. They have, stayed, they have started their investigation from the chemical, but they cannot identify the origin of the chemicals. Chemicals come from the supreme life, God. Just as a living body of, <clears throat> sorry, of a man produces many chemicals, the supreme life, the supreme Lord, is producing all the chemicals found in the atmosphere, in the water, in the humans, in animals, and in earth. And that is called mystic power. Unless the mystic power of the Supreme Lord is accepted, there is no solution to the problem of the origin of life. Dr. Singh, the scientists would reply that they cannot believe in mystic power. But they must explain the origin of the chemicals. Anyone can see that an ordinary tree is producing many chemicals. They cannot deny it, but how does it produce produce them, but how does it produce them? Since they cannot answer this, they must accept that the living force has mystic power. I cannot explain how my fingernails uh, is growing out of my finger. It is beyond the power of my brain. In other words, it is growing by inconceivable potency or achintya shakti. So if achintya shakti exists in an ordinary being, imagine how much Achintya Shakti God possesses. The difference between God and me is that although I have the same potencies as God, I can produce only a small quantity of chemicals, whereas he can produce enormous quantities. I can produce a little water in the form of perspiration, but God can produce the seas. Uh, analysis of one drop of sea water gives you the qualitative analysis of the sea without any mistake. Similarly, an or the ordinary living being is part and parcel of God. So by analyzing the living being, we can begin to understand God. In God, there is great mystic power. God's mystic potency is working swiftly, exactly like an electric machine sometimes operates by sudden energy and they do, and it, are so nicely made that all the work is done simply by pushing buttons. Similarly, God said, let there be creation, and there was creation. Considered in this way, workings of nature is not very difficult to understand. God has such wonderful potencies that the creation on his order alone immediately takes place. Brahmananda Swami. Scientists don't accept God or Achintya Shakti. That is their rascaldom. God exists and his Achintya Shakti also exists. Parandara does. Scientists say that life was created biochemically. Shila Prabhupada, I say to them, why don't you create life? Your biology and chemistry are very advanced. So why don't you create life? Karandara Das. They say they will create life in the future. When in the future? If the scientists know the creative process, why can't they create life now? If life has a biochemical origin and your biologists and chemists are so advanced, they then why can't they say we shall do it? Sorry, then why can't they create life in their laboratories when this a crucial point is raised. They say we shall do it in the future. Why in the future? That is nonsense. Trust no future, however pleasant. What is the meaning of their advancement? Why are they talking nonsense? Adandara Das. They say that they are right on the verge of creating life. But that is also the future in a different way. They must accept that they still do not know the truth about the life since they are expecting to be able to create life in the future. 
Presently, their knowledge must be imperfect. Their proposal is something like giving someone a post-dated check. Suppose I owe you $10,000 and I say, yes, I will pay you the entire sum with this post-dated check. Is that all right? If you are intelligent, you will reply. At present, give me at least $5 so in cash so I can do something tangible. Similarly, the scientists cannot produce even a single blade of grass by biochemistry, yet still they claim that life is produced from matter. So uh, I'll stop here with this uh, reading and I'll just comment on uh, these verses that we have read. So uh, Prabhupada gives another analogy and he calls it the Dr. Frog analogy. The doctor, so the story goes as follows. Once there was a frog that lived uh, in a well and he had a friend visiting from the ocean. So the friend from the ocean uh, told the frog in a well about the ocean and how vast it is. It's it was beyond his imagination. Then the frog in the well could not comprehend because he was thinking in terms relative to his well. He went on calculating and calculating by blowing up his body and eventually dies. So Prabhupada compares this. So similarly, the scientists are estimating the absolute truth with their imperfect senses and mind. They cannot perceive God, who is beyond their con conception. Our eyes are imperfect, for we cannot see what is going on in the room next door. In our old age, we have to wear, sun we have to wear glasses. So how can we see God with these imper imperfect eyes? This is called the inductive process of knowledge or ex by experiment. We should use the deductive process, which means if our guru says man is mortal, then we accept instead of experimenting. Uh, now, this uh, chapter is entitled The Tiny World of, Moderns, of Modern Science. So the tiny world, what is this tiny world? So we can compare it to the, uh, the frog in the well. He is, he is um, basically thinking in terms relative to the well and the ocean is vast. So he cannot go beyond his imagination or beyond his, his relative world. So similarly, the scientists cannot go beyond the relative world of this, of this material universe. So uh, in scripture, it is stated that uh, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, that of God's creation, the spiritual world makes up uh, three fourths of the, his total creation, that is very, very huge. And only one fourth is made, uh, this material universe, verses are made up of, this material world is made up of. So it's one fourth and three fourths. So out of this one fourth, we are in the smallest universe and the smallest planet. And we have these big, big philosophers and uh, scientists who are, trying to experiment and uh, you know uh, so that is why the Prabhupada entitled this uh, chapter the tiny world of modern science but obviously we know that uh, modern science has actually done so much of good as well we'll come to that later but uh, here we're talking about um, the uh, tiny world of modern scientists so this is what we're actually talking about. So Prabhupada also describes this. He gives an analogy of uh, the a bag of mustard seeds. So he says the bag of mustard seeds, that's how many universes, they're unlimited material universes. And it's compared to the bag of mustard seed. The mustard seed is so tiny. So in this way, uh, we find that the, the spiritual world is so vast that we cannot even comprehend. We cannot comprehend this material universes, you know, or this one material universe, let alone the whole of 
the Lord's creation, spiritual and material. So in this, this is what actually Srila Prabhupada is trying to convey that, uh, and out of this material universe, he describes the soul, the particle of the soul to be one ten thousand part of the tip of a hair. That's how minute we are, the living entity, the soul, the spirit soul, which is encaged in this body, right? And uh, so Shla Prabhupada gives the analogy, you know, that, uh, so the scientists say that, you know, there is no God, a God does not exist. And Prabhupada gives an analogy in this connection. And he says, if you want to know who your father is, you ask your mother, right? And your mother will tell you who your father is. So similarly, we should approach our mother, the Vedic literatures to gain perfect knowledge. And she will tell us who our father is, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This knowledge is coming down in an unbroken line of the Siblic succession from Krishna himself until it reaches us. Just like a mango when picked up from a tree is handed down from one person to the other without being scathed. Similarly, this knowledge is unadulterated by speculation. It is received through a chain of the Siblic succession from Krishna down to different teachers unless it come, until it comes to Srila Prabhupada. And he and Srila Prabhupada has presented this knowledge unto us. So another theory that uh, you know historians or scientists make is that uh, this material universe is only two thousand years old, but actually we see from um, experiment uh, also and from uh, Vedic literature. Experiment in that one of our scientists devotees, Ruta Karma Prabhu, he has uh, written a book called the Forbid Forbidden Archaeology. And he po points out there that he has been, uh, there have been artifacts found that date back two million years ago. He has been to uh, different countries and uh, there those artifacts were, um, Put away, uh, they weren't for public viewing. Uh, but due to karma, practices, he asked to see uh, these artifacts, and he was allowed to see the artifacts that that uh, dated that existed around two million years ago, and he had the opportunity to see these artifacts. So uh, Arjuna asks a question to Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, how am I to understand that, uh, you know, uh, to understand that in the beginning you instructed the science of uh, knowledge unto the sun god, uh, I, that the sun god is superior to you uh, by birth. How am I to understand that you instructed the sun? So Krishna replies that many, many births both you and I have taken but I remember all of them and you do not. Although I am unborn, my transcendental body never deteriorates. And although I am the Lord of all living entities, I still appear in every millennium in my original transcendental form. Srila Prabhupada uh, also quotes in the Srimad Bhagavatam 246, that those who are in control of the external energy of the Lord, in other words, those in the material world, us, the living entities, must first of all know the external energy of the Lord, how the external energy of the Lord is working uh, under the direction of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And afterwards, he may try to, to understand the activities of the internal energy. Srila Prabhupada says, uh, studying science is, a par is of paramount importance to people in the material world and to understand how matter works under the direction of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, one must first understand uh, the external energy before trying to understand the internal energy. In the uh, Chaitanya Charita Mrita Adi Lila, uh, 6, uh, 14 and 15, uh, 
material nature is electrified by the supreme authority and the conditioned souls within the limits of time and space are trapped by the awe of material manifestation. In other words, the supreme authority of God is actually realized in the vision of a material philosopher and scientist through the manifestation of his material energy. Therefore, Srila Prabhupada instructed the disciples to construct the Vedic planetarium, which will explain Vedic cosmology as conditioned souls, we can never comprehend the topics of the Vedic cosmology. And by our sensual and intellectual faculties, obviously that we cannot comprehend because our, our senses are imperfect. Srila Prabhupada says that we take assistance from the source, from sources like the Vedas, which will get, actually give us uh, the true information. And uh, I have sent the video of the uh, Vedic cosmology on the group chat. So most of you have seen that. Uh, sorry, I was not able to share it uh, on uh, Zoom, but therefore we shared it on the group chat. Uh, in Bhagavad Gita 7.4, um, Krishna states, Bhumi apanalavayu, kam manu, manu buddhir evicha, ahankara ityamme, bina prakriti, Asada, earth, fire, water, air, sky, intelligence, mind, and ego are all my separated energies. From the Vedas, we can receive information beyond the sensory plane or awareness that describes the hierarchy of beings within this universe, leading ultimately to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Krishna is a Supreme Scientist. He has created millions of universes that are, that are seeds, uh, like seeds floating in the sky. In space, by his inconceivable energies called Achinja Shakti. More importantly, we can get information of how we can successfully interact with the universe and live peacefully and progressive life in this world by elevating our consciousness to the spiritual plane. Now the Lord is holding all these planets in its orbit and no planet is going and clashing with another planet. Everything is running smoothly because of the potencies of the Lord. More importantly, we can get information on how we can successfully interact with the universe and live peacefully just by going into diving into the scriptures bhagavad gita was spoken by krishna himself and srimad bhagavatam is spoken about krishna and his potencies on the other hand we see that uh, the, the science has made a tremendous progress to the material world that is how to become um, sorry, how, how am I able to communicate with you this afternoon? Uh, and also in the medical field, in astronomy, in technology, and so many other uh, faculties, so many other projects, we find that science has contributed extensively. So we should question, where have this intelligence come from? Is it because the scientists own doing or is there a superior superior authority somehow we have to acknowledge that there is a higher energy like god or like the god particle discovered by higgs boson we call him krishna others call him jehovah allah god but there is a higher being krishna says in the bhagavad gita aham sarvasya prabhava Mata Sarvam Parvatite, Iti Matva Bajante Mam, Buddha Bhava Samanvitaha. I am the source of all material and spiritual worlds. Everything emanates from me. The wise who perfectly know this, engage in my devotional service and worship me with all their hearts. So, dear devotees, we acknowledge the superior authority God. In the Brahma Samhita, it is also stated Ishvara Paramakrishna Sachidananda Vigraha. Anadhir Adhir Govinda, 
Sarva Karna Karanam. Krishna is the supreme controller. His body is not made like our bodies of blood, bone, stool, urine, and of ignorance. Uh, his body is Sajid Ananda Vigraha, eternal, full of knowledge, and full of bliss. So with this, I'd like to end my presentation. And uh, if there's any questions, we can take them now. Uh, so let's hear from you as well. If you'd like to contribute to this topic, you're most welcome to do so. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, is there any questions? If not, then we'll just say our okay, pronouns. Let's hear from Paramatma Prabhu. Hare Krishna Maharaji. Thank you so much for the program. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Is there any more is there any questions? Mataji, I'd like to hear more kirtan if you don't mind. Uh, yes, we can do a little more kirtan. No problem. Yeah, but is it is it possible for you to introduce some of your students? I know there's some new students on the group. Please let us know who they were. Some of them spoke at just now. Oh, okay. You want, you want them to introduce themselves? Yes, yes. We can just let us know who they are. Oh, okay. Uh, Shamista uh, Vrishti. Uh, yes. Maybe you can introduce yourself. You can uh, unmute and also uh, sh uh, your video, share your video so uh, Paramatma probably can see who you are, if you don't mind. Hare Krishna. Um, my name is Shamishta. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Madhachi. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Vrishti. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Nice to see you. Okay, we'll have some kirtan now. Thank you so much, Hare Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama.
हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नित गौर हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो जय जय प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद की जय जय ओम विष्णु पर परमहंस विवराचार्य प्रभु श्री श्री राधा राधनाथ की जाय श्री मन महाप्रभु की जाय श्री गिरिराज गोवर्धन की जाय शिला प्रोपाद की जाय गो प्रेम नंदे हरि हरि बो हरे कृष्ण प्रभु थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी सम नॉलेज ऑफ शिला प्रोपाद आई एम वेरी ग्रेटफुल फॉर दिस फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी थैंक यू सो मच हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू मच हरे कृष्ण और श्री प्रोपाद
प्रभो